I'm just gonna try reading to you guys, all right? Like, it's the first time. Well, not the first time. But I'm just gonna just leave it on and leave it as a, a reading thing. You guys can read along with me, but you can hear my thoughts as well. Thank you, water. So I borrowed this book from someone and the pages were kind of ripped out. So the page that I'm on is only 12, but 13 and 14 just don't exist. Oh, wait. No, oh, whoa. There's actually a bunch of pages missing. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's actually kind of sad, but you know what? It's okay. My kids were playing with it one day and it, we got some torn pages, unfortunately, but you know what? How could you get upset? My kids were playing with the book. Page 12, and then we're gonna skip to 17. Oh shit! Okay. Look. 12, 17. No coincidences. <laughs> okay. What is the greatest obstacle to experiencing this reality? Identification with your mind, which causes thought to become compulsive. Not to be able to stop thinking is a dreadful affliction, but we don't realize this because almost everybody is suffering from it. So it is considered normal. This incessant mental noise prevents you from finding the realm of inner stillness that is inseparable from being. It also creates a false mind made self that casts a shadow of fear and suffering. We look at all that in more detail later. So as I reread it, we're, we're, we're filled with distractions in this world to, to keep our mind busy, to keep our mind stressed, to keep our mind afraid, to keep our mind stimulated. We feel like we have to do something all the time when just we just need to sit here or relax, or wait, and breathe. We're always overstimulated, right? I got addicted to video games and I know that it was just overstimulating all my emotions. It made me wanna tap all the time. We have these fidget spinners so we can't sit still. I can't sit still, you can see that when I can't. When I move, I need to move, I need to move, I can't sit still. I think that's what this paragraph says to me is that our minds have been conditioned to not relax and to not sit still to not listen to self to look on the outside for for help when it's just right here within that's what that means to me if if, if you have a different perspective please share the philosopher Descartes believed that he found the most fundamental truth when he made his famous statement, I think, therefore I am. He had, in fact, given expression to the most basic error, to equate thinking with being and identify with thinking. Oh, sorry. To equate thinking with being and identity with thinking. So we are not who we think we are. 
Yeah, is that what you guys get with that? We think we're ego, right? When we just are. Self. Share with me, please. This is fun. We're not even, ha we're barely right under halfway through the page. I can't stop talking, fam. The compulsive thinker, which means almost everyone, lives in a state of apparent separateness, in an insanely complex world of continuous problems and conflict. Did I already read this page to you? Three finger rule. In an insanely complex world of continuous problems and conflict, a world that reflects the ever-increasing fragmentation of the mind, enlightenment, enlightenment is a state of wholeness, of being at one and therefore at peace, finding our still. At one with life in its manifested aspect, the world as well as with your deepest self and life unmanifested at one with being. Enlightenment is, uh, enlightenment is not only the end of suffering and of continuous conflict within and without, but also the end of the dreadful enslavement to incessant thinking. What an incredible liberation this is. So we think too much. Identification with your mind creates an opaque screen of concepts, labels, images, words, judgments, and definitions that blocks all true relationship. It comes between you and yourself, between you and your fellow man and woman, between you and nature, between you and God. Everything that we see is a mirror of ourselves. Stop projecting. It is the screen of thought that creates the illusion of separateness. The illusion that there is you and a totally separate other. You then forget instead of watching the thinker. You, also call, uh, you can also create a gap in the mind stream simply by directing the focus of your attention into the now. Just because intensely conscious of the present moment. Just become intensely conscious of the present moment. This is a deeply satisfying thing to do. In this way, you draw consciousness away from mind activity and create a gap of no mind in which you are highly alert and aware but not thinking. This is the essence of meditation. I feel like I need to read that again. Okay, this might not have anything to do with what we just read, but I always tell people I'm a ninja. I'm gonna tell you why. Because I feel like I can move like a ninja, even though I move the way I do now. Watch me fly when I'm 100%. But it's not just the way I move. It's how I feel that I am aware of my surroundings. Even though I'm not thinking about my surroundings, I am definitely aware of my surroundings and I try to feel the intent of everyone around me. Most people are zombies, they don't do anything, they just stick to themselves, they don't even smile at people. Most people are zombies, but you know what? The ones like you and I, we're smiling, we're happy, we're saying hi to everyone. The ones with bad intent, you can feel it. So this is what I'm saying. I can feel other people's intent around me because I can feel those around me. That's why I'm like a ninja. 
be present. In your everyday life, you can, practice, um, you can practice this by taking any routine activity that normally is only a means to an end and giving it your fullest attention so that it becomes an end in itself. Dude, it's so amazing, man. I see all of the posts lately and I even posted it myself. I even practiced this on my, my bike ride the other day. I didn't focus on the end. I focused on the journey. It was so fun. The journey doesn't have to end if there's no ending. Remember, the end is just the beginning. Cool, man. All the synchronicities, man. The synchronicities are wild. It's like I'm reading what I'm thinking when I'm on Twitter now. You see what I mean? For example, every time you walk up and down the stairs in your house <laughs> or a place of work, Play close, play, pay close attention to every step, every moment, even your breathing. Because of my foot, since September 22nd, every single step I have taken, I have focused on 100% because it hurts. Every single step. My friend Kim yesterday, she opened up a, a, a way of thinking for me. I asked her the, I asked her when she came over, I'm like, hey, can you just activate stuff for me? I just feel like I'm ready. I feel like I want to excel. I feel like I'm ready to, to shine. And you know what? She did it in her own way. It's really cool. You know, she just helped me think from a different perspective. Because that's all we need is a different perspective from our own, from our own thinking mind that enslaves us it goes back to the story of what i've heard from someone say i can't remember what it was but just the pen you know it's just not a pen it's all the work that goes behind the pen the ink the plastic the process the thing whatever the way the conversation that went yesterday i, I recorded it a little bit and i told you guys i let it go because i it got kind of personal and those are things that you guys need to learn on your own I might offend a lot of people the way I speak. I know I do, but when you're allowed to see it and speak openly and freely and not be censored by anyone, you're free. I'm not saying you guys are censoring. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. All this Twitter censorship, all this media censorship, you know what I'm saying. But we need to pay attention every step of the way to every part of the process, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. It all helps us grow. That's what empathy is, right? Be totally present. Or when you wash your hands, pay attention to all the sense perceptions associated with the activity. The sound and feel of the water. The movement of your hands. The scent of the soap and so on. Or when you get into your car, after you close the door, pause for a few seconds and observe the flow of your breath. Become aware of the silent but powerful sense of presence. There is one certain criterion by which you can measure your success, your success this practice. Success in this practice, the degree of peace that you feel within. I mean, this little S right here for shame, no, it actually just means stop to think about the rest but I stopped so many times that I don't think we need to talk about it any longer I think that's it for today it's page 17 that was that was all the way down to page 17 man it makes me wonder what I what I don't have in there So I'm gonna probably continue reading self, but you know, I did want to share my thoughts with you guys as I was reading it. I see the view counts down there. You guys are watching, but I would love for you guys to tell me your perspective because that's the only way I'm gonna learn and find out and discern for myself, right? It's the only way I'm gonna grow. 
And I've been calling a lot of things growing pains, but you know what? They are growing pains. We're all going through it. Man, all my, you guys know I, I went through a divorce. You guys know what I'm going through now. You know I'm trying to open up to love again, but it hurts so much. But we'll, it only hurts so much because you, you gotta let it go. I'm scared to love again because it hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has to realize that they need to start loving themselves. I think this is why so many people are, are breaking up. So many people are separating because we can't handle how much pain we have connected to love. They have taught us, they have conditioned us to love what hurts us. Man. It's really tough. I just want to remind you guys that I love you. And that we're going to all get out of this together. I promise. We've already won. Don't forget to thank your water. Okay? And remember that we are all gods because we are one with God. We are made of God. You don't have to, to listen to me. Just listen to self. Go into the mirror. The mirror is not outside. It's not the mirror you look at with your eyes. It's the mirror within. Talk to self. Self has all the answers. Anyways, I'm going to sign out. Thunder out. Love you all.